All right, it's Wednesday, and that means it is time for the Nerdy News. <laughs> nerdy News! I've got to say, this week in the Nerdy News, there's not a lot of news going on. So uh, we're, we're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel it's, here a little it's, bit. It's uh, the dog days of summer, right? It now. is. It's, we're wrapping things up. But OK, I saw something online today that I, I just love. Somebody posted this on Instagram. And it is uh, yes. Sir Anthony, Anthony Hopkins in Thor Ragnarok uh, as a homeless man in New York City, which was rumored for a while, but apparently now confirmed because they had not announced officially that he was going to be back. Um, and, you know, we were sort of left wondering what happened to Odin sure. at the end of the last one. Um, and I, I just, one, I love this picture. I think it's awesome. Nah. It's just funny. It's Anthony Hopkins yes. like this. But Wait, wait, wait. Give it to me. Yeah, there you go. You, you finish and then I'll, I'll okay. continue. But I also, it just ex excites me for the tone of that movie. There's yes. been rumors of, of the sort of, it's going to be a different type of Thor movie. And I'm, I'm excited about that. Well, here's the deal. Um, people don't, I, young Robbie Liefeld, who's been reading comics since he was six, uh, read this in, entire Thor saga mm -hmm. called Ragnarok. And I remember, you know, the great thing about comics is, especially the stuff that I grew up on, uh, taught me to write better, spell yep. better, yep. Uh, history. I didn't know anything about Nordic legends, but Ragnarok, as some of our viewers may not know, is the word for Armageddon in the Nordic language. This Ragnarok is the end of the gods. It. it is when everything falls apart. And they did Roy Thomas, who is a long time comic book scribe. He, t he was kind of handed the reins to Marvel in the early 70s when Stan Lee left uh, the Marvel offices in New York to come and make Hollywood deals for Marvel. Roy Thomas is a uh, Hollywood, I mean, a comic book like legend. Mm -hmm. And he took over Thor after Stan. And Ragnarok was one of the big storylines he did. And I remember going, and there's, I mean, it's like, wow, it, it really shook, you know. They actually went through with kind of a, a version of Ragnarok and then, of course, put it all back together. Yeah. But the reason I'm taking you down this road is clearly when I saw this, I'm like, okay. So Ragnarok has occurred mm -hmm. or is occurring perhaps because Odin is no longer on the throne. Right. He's abdicated. He's clearly a crazy guy in New York City. <laughs> right. You know, and uh, so this is either the cause yeah. of Ragnarok when I look at it yeah. or the result. Okay. Because... The gods are going to scatter, and they keep saying this. a lot of this is in space as yeah, well. Yeah. So, I mean, I, it, it's all going to be about beating the ticking time bomb of what's, you know, I, I think Thor is probably going to say, this is the end of all that we know, you know, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he and Loki are going to have to team up. But this, this, is te this tells a lot. Yeah. So, I mean, I know it is a great picture of Anthony Hopkins. Yes. And it is so gra great to see him back. But this is very telling yeah. for the future of that you know, yeah. that movie, that franchise. And I just love that Anthony Hopkins is so game to do fun oh. stuff like this. Because, you know, I mean, sometimes some actors, oh, I'm a little too serious for this, but, you know, and he could be, the, but he's... Give it back. He's he's just awesome. No, he looks he's great. He's just awesome. And, and I, I do, I, I, think, I think, so next year is Spider-Man Homecoming, yep. Thor Ragnarok, and uh, Guardians 2. Yes. Uh, Marvel may have their biggest yeah. year ever. Yeah. I mean, they're unstoppable right now. Yeah. Unstoppable. It's going to be great. I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm Me hoping too. that next year is better than this year, which brings us actually to our this, next point. This year sucks so bad. I sent you an article today from yes. Cinema Blend yes. talking about them trying to say that actually the number, the way the numbers add up, that it's not been such a bad summer, that actually uh, we're, we're right up there with some of the best summers, that the best summer was 2013, and we're right up there with that uh, overall box office numbers. Right. I, and, and, and as you sent me that, yes. true story, I'm on the couch, I'm reading Scott Mendelson's Forbes magazine article yes, which about sent. Yeah, the biggest that. bombs and the bigger disappointments yes. of some, and, and it, wasn't, it, was, it was endless. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, I mean, oh. uh, that, 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 I mean, that kicked off Memorial Day, and, and I mean, the first one made a billion dollars. Yeah. This one won't make three hundred million, which and they spent lavishly. Sure. And there's a hundred million dollar write down. All these movies were like, what's taking a hundred million dollar write down? And and the, the turtles, the turtles fared terribly. Independence Day. I forgot terribly. that even happened. Yeah, turtles. Independence Day. Uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Um, um, Tarzan, which I loved, and people, and yeah, even people this guy it. says if they make it again and make it for a specific number. They'll do okay, but like you said, you can't beat up Ghostbusters, which he also, sure. everyone is now, even you and I who love Ghostbusters, it's yeah. a bomb. It's, yeah. it's a financial failure, and, 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 and then you look at what they spent, and then you look at 
uh, Tarzan and they spent more and got less back. Right. There are so many bombs. Yes. So I know this is now the, the cool spin of it wasn't so bad. It was bad. No, and it was. You are Warner Brothers. You went, okay, I spent $500 million and I got $300 million back. Okay, that's not good. Okay. And the <laughs> only people who hasn't, it's, Disney's had a great year. Yes. And, and uh, I just think you can, you have, you have such a good year with Jungle Book, a billion dollars, Civil War, a billion dollars. Uh, you're riding the coattails of Force Awakens, which was $2 billion. Yeah, yeah. You've got uh, Finding Dory, a billion dollars. A yep. billion dollars falls out every time they release a movie. <laughs> so then they go, oh, Alice in Wonderland, blue. Oh, well. Yeah. And then they just write that off to bad Johnny Depp karma. We got to do a whole episode. <laughs> we got to do a whole episode on Johnny. We really The collapse should. of Johnny Depp. Oh. Like, it's it's horrible. It is. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, Johnny, are you ever coming back? I mean, are you ever coming back? And that, and I think sorry. he thinks that Pirates 5 is going to do it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think Disney is going, what are we losing on Pirates 5? Right. Because can I look into the future and tell you I have no desire to see right. Captain Jack Sparrow, hey, baby. No. Right. I'm done with you. It's not. It, it's lost its originality. I'm telling you, Thor has got to land on that pirate ship and say, <laughs> Captain Jack, the Avengers need you for me to go, I'm in. Sorry, dude. Not happening. Which I so actually would be I, awesome. I, Look, bottom line, that whole... This isn't the worst summer ever. That's great. People paid up. And Matt, I haven't even mentioned, I went and saw Ben-Hur. And it ben, oh, you did? It Ben hurt me to watch. <laughs> Sorry. I see what you did there. It's it was, nice. oh, Matt. And that movie, you go, it's like, there's money everywhere. There's a pull-out shot of Jerusalem. And, and, and the Jerusalem of Ben-Hur is like, uh, uh, up on a giant mountain, looking down over the valley. And Rome's building their, their Colosseum up in the mountains. This movie, it's like money, 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 money everywhere. And you're yeah. like, and it's so boring. This oh. movie is boring. So, dude. So, did, so you think, uh, just curious, because I, I actually haven't heard anything about Ben-Hur, yeah. uh, except for that it didn't boring. do well. Boring. So, yes. So you think it didn't do well because it's boring? I and also think because of marketing. I didn't hear almost anything was, about yeah. it ahead of time. I think they were like, we can't spend any money on marketing because we have so much in the movie. <laughs> and it's going to tank. And, and uh, yeah, and look. My dad was a Baptist minister. I was raised in the church. Sure. And their version of Jesus, there's, a, there's the first time you see Jesus. He's like a modeling carpenter. Oh, love your enemies, my friend. Oh, <laughs> love your enemies. Stay, oh. stay and you're like, Rodrigo, the actor, the actor is like, uh, he was, who are the two characters that died on Lost? Oh, they, oh, oh, yeah. They got buried alive. Uh, or, uh, Paolo and... Paolo uh, is Jesus. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, Ben-Hur, you must love your enemies. Oh. I love it. And he's smoldering, and you're like, this is the worst Jesus ever! <laughs> and then he's up on the cross at the end. Oh, I forgive him, my father. I'm like, can we go to Passion of the Christ? That was, here's the thing people don't realize about Passion of the Christ. And do you remember when you saw it, and you're like, how much flesh are they going to pull out of Jesus? Those, those glasses, yes. that cat of nine tails. And I remember going home to Joy going, that was like a horror film. Cut to the next week, Daily Variety. This movie is tracking like a horror film. Teenage boys are going back to see Passion of the Christ again and again and again. Yeah. I did. I'm like, how much violence is in this crucifixion scene? Like, stop. If you read the Bible, yeah. it's violent. Yes. It's violent. David cut off an entire army's peckers. Okay? <laughs> have we ever seen that? No, we have not. But you know what? In our David movie, that's in there. <laughs> and, and kids will be like, that's a sausage party. You know? <laughs> so. Well, that's a Nerdy Pop exclusive. So there Apparently you go. Rob and I are producing a David Matt, movie. Matt, the <laughs> Bible, they need to be more violent. People forget. Like yeah. with Deadpool, people forget Deadpool was R now. You just read about, oh, Deadpool. Oh, they, they stacked Deadpool against PG-13. I'm, 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 I'm kind of amped right now, and I'm going off, so excuse that. me. But it was R, and people forget Passion of the Christ yeah. was a hard R. It yeah. was hard to watch, and that creepy little devil with the baby. <laughs> Remember that? And I mean, you were disturbed by it that. It was disturbing. Ben-Hur with, with its, oh, hello, I'm Jesus. I'm Jesus, and I'm like a model on a cross. It's terrible. <laughs> it's terrible. Even Joy's like, you really didn't like that. Oh, I uh, make good Bible movies. Make you, good movies. Yeah. Right now. This summer was terrible. I'm sorry. It was. We ran over. It's all right. It's I all right. I ran over. Last I, bit of nerdy news this week. Did you have something else? Did you? No. Uh-uh. Okay. Last bit of nerdy news <laughs> this week. We're just, we're just on it tonight, man. <laughs> Last bit of nerdy news this week. Next week, we are going to be uh, taping at Fat Comics, or Fat Collectibles in Anaheim, California. Yeah, they're great. Um, 
it's going to be awesome. We're going to be there. All of our shows for the whole week will be there, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be rad. So we're going to kind of mix things up. We'll be there all week, and make sure you tune That's in. That's in my that. old hood. That's in my old hood, by the way. I know. I grew up there, and and I tell Jason all the time, why didn't you have this store up, you know, when I was 10? Like, come I mean, on, man. Isn't he younger I would have lived there. He is younger yeah, than me, so but I don't care. <laughs> that store should have been there. I, I drive by, and I'm always like, what could have been? And if... <laughs> Fat Collectibles next week. Yes, We're going to have a great, next week. And great if you're local, come on out. 6 o'clock, Fat Collectibles. And uh, we got the first 60 people there get a signed... Uh, signed from you. Signed print poster put on the wall. Yeah. It's free, kids. It's free. And awesome. middle-aged people. Yes. It's, it's going to be rad. That's fat with a PH. That's PHAT. Right. Thank you, Alex. Collectible. So Anaheim on the corner of. Uh, it's Euclid and Ball. I think. Euclid and Ball. There you go. Yep. All right, that is a wrap up of our very interesting edition of Nerdy News tonight. Make sure you follow us on social media at Nerdy Pop Show on Instagram and Twitter. Our, in, our individual handles are on the screen, and we will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Yeah. We have the best audience ever. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey.